how Amy Schumer became the most hated human ever. Amy Schumer places first on literally every single list titled Worst or Most Hated Comedians of All Time. Why? Well, the countless different reasons for it become most interesting when you realize that toward the beginning of her career, she was actually liked and respected amongst the general population. For example, she was listed in Time's Top 100 Most Influential People of 2015, whilst her comedy specials such as This One, This One, and This One received mostly positive reviews, one of which confidently stating that Amy Schumer leaves her audience in stitches. However, while this review was mostly positive, if we go back a couple of sentences, it also points out the first reason as to why Amy Schumer would eventually become so hated. It's easy to label Amy Schumer a one-trick pony. As the title of her special suggests, she talks about sex and she doesn't talk about much else. Her idea of comedy is making jokes True. about how- Oh man, all I can remember from her is sex jokes and I, I really just- <laughs> I find them so uncomfortable to listen to, honestly. I just don't like listening to them. How terrible her vagina smells and or how many guys she's blown. That's not comedy. This was a comment on a thread discussing why her style was so controversial. The thread including another supporting comment which stated, You can call her a one trick pony or two trick which are, One, here is my vagina. Want a detailed description? You will have it anyway. Two, men are pathetic and I like to assault slash manipulate slash emasculate them in every way. With these two comments in mind, it becomes obvious that not only does Amy Schumer have little diversity in terms of what topics she jokes about, but her narrow style of joking about her own female anatomy in an unflattering way, whilst constantly joking about men in a derogatory way, is simply going to make her unappealing to a male audience, as well as specific females such as this one who had commented, you can only have so much self-deprecating humour before people get tired of it. How much do I need to hear about her pussy? Certainly not the entire length of her stand-up show, that's for damn sure. <laughs> the very nature of this kind of content, such as the discussion of female promiscuity also leaves Amy Schumer open to political backlash and debate. This is the next thing that began to turn the audience against her back in 2016. Politics. One article oh, written no. by CBS News stated, around 200 people walked out of her Tampa show when Schumer launched into it's a... Always, comedians out. always get like, after a while, comedians always get involved with like, politics it seems like. It's interesting. Trump. It's somewhat of a surprise that fans were caught off guard because Schumer isn't known for suppressing her political views. In addition to this, Amy Schumer would announce that she was pregnant by posting a list of the people she had voted for, adding at the bottom, I'm pregnant Amy Schumer, using her pregnancy to drive traffic to the candidates which she considered to be favorable. Whenever Amy spoke okay. politically, she always took a liberal viewpoint and was very anti-Republican, even having interviewed Hillary Clinton, yet her audience would come to discover that back in 2007, Amy Schumer actually got her first big break as a guest on Fox News, which was a pro Republican news station, angering both sides of the political spectrum. Oh Amy word. going public with her political opinions meant that she had now alienated another 50% of the already small audience that might still be interested in her style of comedy. Additionally, whenever Amy Schumer was criticized for the comedy itself, she'd use politics as an easy way out by simply blaming the criticism on the alt-right, as highlighted in another comment which stated, Worst of all, when her audience gives her honest feedback, she whines about how her critics must hate women or how they're all alt-right. Yeah, sure Amy, the only reason people hate you is that they're all a bunch of Nazi anti-Semitic misogynists. This comment also highlighted the next reason as to why Amy Schumer became so hated, and that's her lack of personal Makes responsibility <laughs> and victim complex, which is sometimes even mixed with a hint of entitlement and the contrary attitude that she's better than everyone else. For example, in late 2015, an article was published by Page Six titled, Amy Schumer thinks she's too famous to check in at the gym, which read, Amy Schumer was not happy this week when staffers at the Upper West Side Equinox asked her to present her membership card, which is standard practice at the upscale fitness yeah. club. She felt entitled to just walk in, a source explained to page six. She didn't want to show her key fob and wanted to be able to go in and not be questioned. We're told the annoyed train wreck star declared, I'm famous, when employees didn't recognize her and insisted she go through the typical check-in procedure. While Equinox believes Schumer eventually enjoyed her workout on Monday afternoon, our source said she was so unhappy she stormed off. A different article sporting similar energy was titled, Amy Schumer can't be bothered to take photos with fans. She thought she was bigger Amy than the key fob? Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, be like the rest of us and put the key fob in, man. Come on. Schumer wants to make it clear she does not owe you a selfie. The article went on to describe an exchange that Amy Schumer had whilst in town for a comedy show. This guy in front of his family just ran up next to me and scared the shit out of me. He put a camera in my face. I asked him to stop and he said, no, it's America and we paid for you. This was in front of his daughter. I was saying stop and no. Great <laughs> message to your kid. Yes, legally you're allowed to take a picture of me, but I was asking you to stop and say no. I will not take pictures with people anymore and it's because of this dude in Greenville. Yet, after the other person involved was then interviewed by a local news station, a whole different side to the story was revealed. But he tells us that's not exactly 
how it went according to him. I see her face and I'm like, all right, cool. So I hurry up and get on my Instagram and I'm like, there goes Amy and then she just loses it and she just gets mad and that is totally false what she wrote about me. So if Amy Schumer was huh. too famous to check into her local gym or take photos with fans, she must have thought pretty highly of herself. If that's truly the case, then surely she'd be happy with an $11 million offer from Netflix for one of her comedy specials a year later in 2017, mil. right? Well, no, not really. Amy Schumer claimed that the $11 million offer wasn't enough money for 60 minutes of comedy footage, citing it as unfair due to Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle receiving $20 million for their specials. Now this argument yeah, would but be that's, perfectly fine. Yeah, but that's like, that's Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, man. I mean, Amy Schumer was big. I mean, $11 mil is still a lot of money. She's, uh, she's, she's like, she had more than half. Like, that is a lot of money. I mean, the other two, I feel like, have such more of a, a longer Vine legacy before they got the deal. I feel like she got a, a good deal. I don't know. This is weird. Interesting. Assuming all three comedy specials were of similar quality, only they most certainly weren't. Amy's comedy special, the one that she was paid $11 million for, was so bad that IMDb users gave it a rating of 3.1 out of 10, whilst Netflix had to change their rating system entirely, which hit its 1.35 out of 5 star performance on their platform. The changes to the industry she's made is incredible, like how Netflix had to remove their rating system because her special was so terrible. <laughs> really? The goods and the bads of this comedy special. We'll go ahead and start about I don't what's remember good that. with it. That ends that segment. That about <laughs> covers that. Dave Chappelle's Netflix special, on the other hand, received a rating of 8.2 well, out one. of 10 on IMDb, really whilst good. Chris Rock's received a less <laughs> impressive but still superior rating of 6. Tambourine was pretty alright. Dave Not Chappelle bad. and Chris Rock were ranked as number 9 and number 5 on Rolling Stone's Top 50 Comedians of All Time, whilst the only list Amy Schumer sees on IMDb's Top Wait, Dave Chappelle's number 9? And Chris Rock is ahead of him. What? I mean, I like Chris Rock, but Dave Chappelle is probably my favorite comedian of all time. Like, he's, he's so, like, um, daring and, like, wise, man. This guy is quite the fella. <laughs> I've always enjoyed his work since, like, the beginning of uh, the Dave Chappelle show and stuff. I've always just grabbed towards Dave Chappelle shit. I think he's funny as fuck. Rolling Stone's top 50 comedians of all time, whilst the only list Amy Schumer seems to top is it's IMDb's smart. top 10 worst comedians of all time. When Dave Chappelle went on Comedy Central all the way back in 2004, he'd receive a viewership of 3.1 million people, yet when Amy Schumer went on Comedy Central at the height of her popularity in 2016, her viewership was less than 500,000. I'm truly cackling at the audacity of Amy Schumer thinking she deserved the same See, as that's Chris what Rock. I'm saying. Shit's just not the same. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Like, girl, what? So Amy Schumer wants Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle money, but haven't put in the years they put in. Talk about privilege. Oh, cool. I'm not the only one that thinks this. All right, cool. I thought Amy I was Schumer is maybe Josh Gadley. Level. She's not as famous or endearing <laughs> as Chris Rock. She's not a legend like Dave Chappelle. In case Amy Schumer complaining about being paid $11 million wasn't already dumb enough, it became even worse when her audience would discover that some of the jokes within her special might have been stolen from. Oh, yeah, comedians. I've always heard this. Compilations began that to pop up on YouTube, jokes. such as these two, giving example after example of the ways in which Amy Schumer had stolen jokes from other comedians in the past. How's this? Oh, that's perfect. They can ring you up right over there. Thanks so much. Okay, I'm Bengi. If you need any other sizes, you please let me know, all right? Okay. We got this. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Great. All right, can somebody help you with this? Uh, yeah, she's right over... Oh, she's not there. Did someone help you today? Yeah, um... <laughs> Where'd she go? Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't see him. Oh, that's okay. What did she look like? She's... Uh, dark hair. Um, she was wearing a blazer. Oh yeah, all the girls are wearing a blazer. Do you know what he looks like? Yeah, he is wearing like a like a vest, like a plaid shirt. I don't know what everyone who works here wore today. If she had a favorite <laughs> okay. president, it would probably be Lincoln. Are there any other distinguishing features? I would guess he probably voted for o Obama. I know I did. As these compilations began to pick oh. up steam on YouTube, news article Just after news article was published things. calling Amy That's Schumer a joke thief, whilst others within the comedy <laughs> space would come forward stating that Amy Schumer stealing jokes was discussed regularly behind the scenes. Twitter took the exact same standpoint in posts such as, is it just me or is Amy Schumer just not that funny? Despite the fact that she has a terrible personality and steals half her jokes, prompting Amy to address the criticism in an Instagram post where she'd once again alleviate any personal responsibility by blaming the backlash on Reddit. Dear 
best way to misunderstood <laughs> geniuses in the bowels of subreddit yeah, chat Reddit. <laughs> I've never stolen a joke in my life. Also going Those on the Reddit Dean Norton Advice Show before Come stating on. the following. And I'm so <coughs> careful. And none of these things had ever reached me. And I, like, I will literally take a polygraph. And I just would never do that. Like, that would be so stupid for me to do that. Amy Wait, Schubert you're willing to take a polygraph that you didn't steal those jokes? Wait, did she? Take a polygraph test for a Vanity Fair video during which she was asked about stealing jokes. Oh. Coming up with new material is difficult. <coughs> Have you ever stolen a joke? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, she's telling the truth. What about an idea for a sketch? No. An idea for a character? No. Let me rephrase. I'm not seeing Have you enough ever movement. Taken inspiration for a joke from somebody else? No. Yet the video is edited in a bizarre way where she says no before it fails to include whether or not she was telling the truth. The whole dilemma was certainly a point of debate, yet one joke which Amy Schumer definitely hadn't stolen was a joke made in front of Steve-O back in 2014 relating to the death of his friend Ryan Dunn. And huh? Steve-O is here. Steve-O, great try. Steve-O! But I truly am, no joke, sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> um, what? Bro, you. what? Steve-O is always laughing. When he's not, it's for real. Imagine being such a buzzkill that you kill Steve-O's wife. Yeah, dude, Jesus. doesn't understand the concept of dark <laughs> humor. She's got the dark, now she just needs to find the humor. People well, in the crowd were cackling. Was Someone in the crowd cackled at that. Jesus. This little zinger as an example that Amy Shum was able to dish out harsh jokes, but was unable to take them herself. What we're referring to is a tweet made in early 2016 by a 17-year-old movie critic who had posted the photo of himself with Amy Schumer, titled with a light-hearted comedic caption reading, spent the night with at Amy Schumer. Certainly not the first guy to write that, referring to Amy often talking about the different guy she's been with during her shows. So if Amy thought it was appropriate to joke about Steve-O's recently deceased friend, surely she shouldn't have a problem with someone making a little comment about the amount of guys she's True. been with, especially considering it's basically all she talks about within her shows. Well, True. Amy didn't take it all that lightly, replying to the 17-year-old uh -oh. fan by stating, I get it, because I'm a whore. Glad I took a photo <laughs> with you. Hi to your dad. Others on Twitter would respond to what you might call... Uh, she built this reputation, and now she doesn't like when somebody uses it as a joke with her. Yikes. That's interesting joke morals by stating that's the same type of joke amy schumer uses to keep her fame suddenly that humor is off limits now huh lol others would support amy schumer in tweets stating thank you at amy schumer for holding him accountable and not just blowing it off yet the discourse and contrast between these two different viewpoints really conclude how amy schumer became so hated she used controversy and difference of opinion to grow her career whilst angering the entire world in the process mm. I'm still interested by that Vanity Fair video. Like, what was it? That video seems so sketchy. I, I, I don't know what to believe there. That shit seems sketchy. That was such an interesting video.